Good evening. Uh, this evening I just wanted to do a, a quick video, hopefully, on a uh, new antenna switch I got um, for uh, ham radio, as well as uh, any other purposes. Um, so this is the one I got. Um, it's a, a four, four to one switch, so um, you have uh, one coax and you can have four antennas uh, wherever uh, this uh, remote uh, switch would go. And it's a control with the switch box. Before I had uh, an MFJ4712 and it's only a two position switch, but it has the added bonus of not requiring anything but uh, coax um, to, to drive it. Uh, there's a, like, a tw uh, like a 12 volt offset you add and um, it uh, inserts the DC and then it removes the DC. But uh, you know, I figured I'd need more than uh, two two switches, so um, I ran some uh, some thermostat wire, and now I, I bought this new switch from um, I think this guy's in the in the Russian Federation, uh, Anton Ram Ramos or something like that. So I got the switch. Um, looks looks like it's actually gone up in price a little bit. Um, I think it was around fifty when I bought it. So uh, you can buy a bare PCB or a kit, or you can get it assembled, and even with the case. And uh, I just opted to get it assembled with the case. The kit would have been fine, but finding a case or trying to source the case yourself, I decided you know, pay a little bit more and uh, get it all together. So that's fine, you get this, but then you need a, a way to control this. So um, you can buy uh, switches like this. This is a four position switch you can get on eBay for just a few bucks. And this works, and this is fine. You can use just a switch like this, um, but you, you need to solder stuff permanently, and I, I kind of wanted to make something more, a little bit more modular, so I took a little bit of time and I designed and had made um, just a, a PCB for for this purpose, so I can disconnect and reconnect stuff a little bit easier, and um, and I also included this spot for a few LEDs, and um, and uh, this this uh, is also designed to fit within a. Uh, like an outdoor electrical box. So I have that all assembled, just kind of demoing it here before I install it. Um, and here's, here's the switch itself. So it's a control box for the switch. So we have the, uh, the switch in here on the, mounted on the PCB. And um, I've drilled some holes in this uh, metal case. And for right now, I just have stuff uh, temporarily like that. You can maybe hear that. Um, we can switch between the different uh, antennas that'll uh, be up in my attic, and I have them, I have them labeled here. They come that way. Um, so let me take this apart quick, and I'll just show you how it all goes together. Um, and uh, be right back. Alright, so this um, comes off like this, and we have the, the PCB, and uh, I just included a barrel jack connector for a kind of ease of uh, feeding feeding this thing, uh, 12 volts, which these are uh, the one I got here with it. These are uh, 12, 12 volt um, switches right here, relays, so that makes that a bit easier. Of course, you would feed uh, feed whatever your relay voltage is. You want to feed that voltage, of course. Um, let me undo this as well. And kind of show you how this all goes together. So this is just um, bolted in here. There's, of course, this uh, center nut here to hold that in place as well. Um, I made a template, drilled these out, 
seems that it's hard to get these uh, to, <laughs> to line up perfectly. So I don't know. I may I may design uh, 3D 3D print something, or I may just put up with this for now. Anyways, this is this is kind of what it looks like, um, fully assembled. Um, put a little pie filter here for the 12 volts, just in case there's any noise. I'm not sure if it'll do much. We have a few jumpers in here to um, hopefully act as fuses or something in case we have short circuits. But anyways, we have uh, our connections uh, for antenna one, two, three, and four. Um, there's a there's a another uh, spot for DC uh, hookup if you don't want to use the barrel jack. Um, although I did end up using the native connection to run my negative connection up to the up to the uh, box as well. So um, yeah, it seems to fit uh, fairly well in here. The uh, spacing on uh, this here is actually the same as um, <clears throat> maybe like a light switch or an outlet or something like that. Uh, more like a light switch. So that was uh, done for uh, some convenience. So and of course there's uh, you have to kind of try to source. Uh, the knob of your choice. Some some of the switches do come with these knobs, um, but I'd be careful with these. These have a set screw, and um, can you see that? Yeah. And uh, the problem with the set screw in this type of a knob is that there's a cut down the the mid center, so you can. I think it's this one's already even a little bent, so you can maybe push that in and <clears throat> you know <clears throat> possibly break it if uh, you're unfortunate enough. So. So anyways, <clears throat> this is advertised um, up to 6 meter, yeah, 50, 54 megahertz. So I thought, you know, it'd be nice to be able to use this uh, on uh, 6 meter or something like that, or, you know, above above 6 meter, maybe even 2 meter. Um, so I thought we'd just do a simple um, uh, loss test with the... Uh, with the nano VNA um, and see see what it'll do. So I've already calibrated this uh, nano. Let's um, hook it up to the the switch. It's all hooked up. Let's have a look. Um, we're on the. Uh, make sure not to short this out if we can. Avoid it. So we're on channel one. Let's just switch. So whether we're switching off a uh, antenna one or channel one, switch back on. Let's zoom in here. Get rid of that. So we can see it's very very low uh, insertion loss here. Um, we can go up to two meter here. And we're at 0.37 dB uh, loss through the thing. So pretty darn low. So you could probably even use this. You could definitely use this uh, VHF um, with some losses. Um, let's go to the 56, the six meter band here. And uh, extremely low uh, losses through this. So it looks like it's um, gonna work just fine even through for VHF. Which I was kind of a little bit worried about, but um, I guess they just decided to advertise it uh, uh, through six meter and and nothing more. So, anyways, that's kind of uh, the rundown on this um, uh, switch and the little kind of modular PCB uh, made for it. And um, I did I did have several of these made, so I don't I'm not going to need more than one. I may just uh, list these on eBay um, so that'll be uh, probably under Pure Next Lab somewhere so if you're interested in one of these uh, you know I, I have a few of them and uh, once once they're out they're probably out but uh, anyways thank you for watching see you next time